Hello everyone, I guess that many of you have heard of the ozone layer and about the ozone hole. Perhaps you haven't heard about good ozone versus bad ozone. And some of you may figure out that it has to do something with pollution, UV radiation, you know, cancer, international agreements, and perhaps you may even think that the problem was solved. Wrong answer, not so fast. This short video will describe two different types of ozone, which relate to two different environmental problems. Most of us take it for granted that they have one, two, or th even more devices connected to the internet around them that they use all day. It could be your cell phone, your tablet, your computer, even your TV, and probably the camera that's recording this lecture is connected to the internet. We might take that for granted, that we live in a world of billions of connected devices, but it hasn't always been like that. As recently as the 1980s, we had a mere few thousand devices online, and then in the 1990s, the internet experienced an explosion, moving from the thousands to the millions, and in the 2000s to the billions of connected devices. Some very simple actions can serve and save a lot of food being wasted. So let me ask you this, do you keep your vegetables in the fridge or outside? And what about your fruits? How do you store your bread? It is important to know the answer to these and other questions about food storage to ensure a long shelf life. Did you know, for instance, that bananas should be kept outside of the fridge but away from other fruits as they make other fruits ripen faster? Alexei had hemophilia, a disease of the blood. In hemophilia, injuries to blood vessels do not heal because blood does not clot. External injuries continue to bleed outside the body. Internal injuries cause blood to pool within the skin, in muscles, joints, and internal organs, causing pain, injury, and even death on occasion. At the time, the years before the First World War, Medicine had little understanding and no effective treatment for hemophilia. Desperate about her son's condition during one of his worst episodes, Tsarina Alexandra turned for help to a peasant holy man named Grigory Efimovich Rasputin. Rasputin told Alexandra to put her faith in God and not listen to doctors. Ironically, his advice was probably very good. The medical treatment in those days for hemophilia was aspirin. That's a bad idea. Aspirin is an anticoagulant, a blood thinner, and actually aggravates the problems of hemophilia rather than solving them. So ceasing to follow the doctor's advice might have been what saved Alexei at the time. 